In this video, we will be renaming mixed numbers. You guys may not have known this, but every whole number can be written as a mixed number. So I'm going to show you that now. If I have four holes, so this is telling me, this big number tells me I have four holes. So if I draw four holes, and I'm going to put four pieces in each of these holes. These aren't my most perfect pictures, but you guys get the point. Four pieces with four holes. And then I'm going to go through and shade because we have four holes. So this one's all shaded. This one's all shaded. This one's all shaded. And this one's all shaded. This picture shows us four holes. What I can do is I can break this apart and I can say that four holes is the same as three holes and the fraction four-fourths. And this is true because three plus another hole is four. So three plus this hole is four. So another name for four could be three and seven-sevenths because we have three and the fraction seven-sevenths which is worth one. So this would be equal to four as well. I could say three and ten-tenths because we have a whole and then a whole fraction. Sorry, we have three holes and a whole fraction, which should be four. In your notebook, write down a couple other ways we could write four as a mixed number. Here's three ways for you right here. Come up with a couple more. So here's video question number one. Answer this in your notebook and you'll enter it on your Google form after. It says, how can we rename the whole number eight as a mixed number? So how can we rename the whole number 8 as a mixed number? Same thing we did over here with the 4. Okay, so we're going to start renaming mixed numbers now. We practiced renaming just a whole. Now we're going to rename a mixed number. So I'm going to first start by shading. I'm going to get my highlighter here. I'm going to shade what 4 and 2 thirds looks like. So it would be 1, 2, three, four, and two thirds. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, instead of calling this four and two thirds, we're gonna change the name. So we're going to, I'm gonna go back and grab my pen. We're going to just take three of these holes, and we're gonna say that four and two thirds could also be three, so that's one, two, three, and now we're going to make a fraction. We have one, two, three, four, five pieces out of three because every single hole has three pieces. So four and two thirds is the same thing as three and five thirds. All we did here was we took a hole away from four. So we went from four down to three. And when we took a hole away, so when we took this hole away from the other ones, we have some extra pieces here. There's three extra pieces. So if our fraction was four and two thirds and we took away a hole, we brought this down to three, we're basically giving ourselves three out of three. We're giving ourselves back one hole because we took it away here. So then our new fraction would be, our new mixed number would be three and two plus three is five thirds, which is what we have up here. So video question two, how can we rename the mixed number below? If you need help, draw these circles in your notebook and find the missing number. So two and a half, how can we change that to be, for this fraction, this mixed number to be equivalent to that? So two and a half equals one and what over two? Let's practice another one here. So we have two and three fourths. So I'm going to shade a whole and a whole, that represents our two, and I'm gonna shade three-fourths. But I wanna find an equivalent fraction, so I'm going to change this up a little bit. I'm gonna say that instead of taking two and three-fourths, I'm just gonna do one whole, so I'm gonna make this a one, and then what would my new fraction be? We're gonna count how many total pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out of, and our bottom number is how many are in one hole. 
So 2 and 3 fourths also equals 1 and 7 fourths. Essentially what I've done here is I have, if I take my original mixed number, I have gotten rid of one whole. So I've taken that 2 and I've brought that down to a 1. When I take a whole out of here, I'm basically taking out 4 fourths because that's how many is in one whole. So I'm going to add that to the fraction, which is going to give me my new number, 1 and 3 plus 4, 7 fourths. Okay, so let's try one together without the pictures. So what we have is 7 and 1 fifth, and we want to rename this as an equivalent mixed number, but we want this to be an improper fraction. So I'm going to take 1 away from my 7, so that's going to become a 6, and when I take that away, I'm giving myself a whole. So I took a whole away, so I need to give myself back a whole. I'm going to get back 5 fifths because we know that there's 5 pieces in a whole. So right now, 6 and 5 fifths is the same as 7. 6 plus another whole is 7. Then I'm going to add in the fraction I already had. So our answer is 6 and 5 plus 1, 6 fifths. So video question three, find the missing box below to make these mixed numbers equivalent. So you're just finding this missing box here. Same thing we've been practicing. Okay, on this page we have a whole number and an improper fraction, so two and seven fifths. Let's shade and see what that looks like. Two and one, two, three, four. 4, 5, 6, 7 out of 5. So I want to change this now into a mixed number that's going to have a proper fraction. So this is pretty easy to see. Basically we have 3 holes and 2 out of 5. So we're just gone, we've just basically gone the opposite way. So 2 and 7 fifths is the same as 3 and 2 fifths. And again, all we've done is we've looked at that improper fraction, and this is 7 fifths right now. We've basically just taken a whole out of that. We're taking 5 fifths out. So when we take that out, we get 2 fifths. But when we take it out, we have to add it back to the number. So that's how we get 5 fifths plus 2 is 3 and 2 fifths. Okay, so same thing here. Right now we have an improper fraction. How many holes can we take out of 11 ninths? So if I subtract out 9 ninths, if I take one hole out, I'm going to have 2 ninths left because 11 minus 9 is 2. And I've taken that hole out, so I'm going to give that hole back to the first number here, and I'm going to have 10 and 2 ninths. 10 and 2 ninths is the same as 9 and 11 ninths. All right, last question, find the missing box to make these mixed numbers equivalent. So you have 5 and 9 fifths, and you're trying to find how that's equivalent to 6 and what over 5. You're going from an improper to a regular fraction.